If you're working with a small group of students, hand them some pieces. So imagine that one child has this bar, another one has, oops, I want to use the positive ones, this one, another one has this, and another child has this. And they're holding it in their hands like this. You can't see it, but the child can look and see. Now you hold up a nine bar, right? What does the nine want to be? A 10. What does the nine need to be a 10? A one. So what is nine gonna shop for? A one. Now a child's holding this in their hand. Do you have a one? No. Another child, do you have a one? Yes. Oh, nine's found a one and nine with one make what? 10. And nine is so happy because nine with a one makes 10. Suppose that eight were out shopping. What does eight want to be? A 10. What does eight need to be a 10? A two. What's eight going to shop for? A two. What is eight looking for? A two. Do you have a two? No. Do you have a two? No. Do you have a two? No. Boy, I hope I can find a two soon because my feet are getting really, really tired from all the shopping. Let's check the next door. Do you have a two? Yes. Now, eights has a two. Well, an eight with a two makes what? 10. And eight is so happy with a two because that makes 10. Now, that's what you can do with a group of students. What if you're just working with one or two? Could you hide these under checkbook boxes or cups? Right, and the child can play a concentration game. Another type of game could be, let's put up the other bars. And we have to have a five twice, right? And we can cover up these bars. So we uncover the five, right? I uncover it, I've got this one. Now, I take a turn, maybe I uncover this three. That's not what I want. So the next child can take a turn, or you as the adult. Let's see, let's just pick one. What if I uncovered the seven? What does seven want? A three. I remember where that three was. It was right here. And so you keep it. So with two children, with one, you can adapt this play concentration game. And another fun thing to do is have the child with all the pieces in front hold up a nine. What is the child going to hold up? Nine wants to be a 10. So from the child's stack, they go and grab a one. If I hold up a six, what, what are you going to hold up? A four. Again, let your imagination be your guide.